Hey everyone, I'm back. It's Kenneth with How It's Designed, and in this video, I'm going to get straight to the point and show you how to record macros and run macros in SolidWorks uh, to automate some of those design features in your parts. So let's get started with creating a new part here. So we're inside a new part. The first thing we are going to do is go to Tools up in this toolbar top ribbon up here we're gonna to go to you should see macro here and we're going to select record so that it is documenting our steps so we are recording the macro we're gonna make a sample part here start building out some features in this example we'll do just a slotted extrusion Give it some dimensions. And in this case, we're in inches, so just keep that in mind. The uh, Western world still hasn't figured out the correct units. I would much prefer to work in millimeters myself, but that's just uh, the American way, I guess. So we have our slot sketch fully defined. The macro is recording this step. Our next step will be to extrude it. So let's just give it a depth enter and select OK. And let's add just one more feature set on this top surface here. So what are you guys running these days as far as uh, computers for SOLIDWORKS? My Lenovo is getting pretty old, going to probably upgrade here in the coming months, but uh, the Lenovo's seem to be still the best when it comes to running parametric platforms, CAD, etc. and we're still not getting that locked down so we'll do the one last horizontal relation here and so that's fully defined let's do just an extrude cut again whoops even the best uh, select the wrong button through all. Alright, so we have a sample part here now. Let's stop the macro. It'll ask us to save the SOLIDWORKS VBA macros uh, file this is 
the uh, coding format of this macro file. We'll open that up later. Saved that part. We closed it. Now when we go to start from scratch here, we can run that VBA macro we just recorded. So let's go to tools macro again, run. It's going to prompt us now to select that macro we just saved. We'll open it. And you can see now there's some automation to it. It'll just prompt us to give now some dimensions. can see this is all running on its own. It's building up the feature tree as you can see on the left. And we're just entering the dimensions whenever it prompts us to do so. So now when we go to tools macro edit and select that recording it'll allow us to open in Visual Basic which is uh, has a SolidWorks plugin it's pretty cool and this you can see the API calls I believe it's C sharp or dot net based um, Obviously not a REST API, you'll, you'll need the uh, PDM Pro for that, uh, for uh, REST-based API, but this is just internal feature API calls for the features. So you can see the values here if you want to take interest in going through this. It's pretty cool how to see uh, the functionality uh, behind the scenes. So you got a lot of different lines of code here for different features.